Hello, yes. welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, shaggy losses. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share these videos. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And alternatively, you can click the link uh, just below this video uh, to visit the website. Uh, and I come to the topic uh, shaggy losses, you know. What is it? Uh, it's a bacterial infection of the digestive system, you know, and uh, it's caused by the bacteria known as uh, Shigella, you know. And uh, uh, this bacterium spreads through the contaminated water, uh, the contaminated food, or the feces, you know. And uh, the bacteria releases the toxins, and uh, these toxins. Uh, they irritate the intestines, you know, and the primary symptom is diarrhea, which is caused as the irritation of the intestines, you know. You know, the symptoms uh, uh, vary in intensity, you know, and uh, you may have mild chagulosis or may have, uh, which don't have, uh, even you don't realize or report it, you know, and it may be severe, you know. And the toddlers and the preschool children are more likely than the older children and the adults to get shaggy losses, you know. And uh, this may be because the young children put their fingers in their mouths and uh, they're more likely to ingest those bacteria, you know. And uh, the large number of uh, like uh, diaper changes in the child care centers uh, may also increase the uh, like uh, uh, the concentration of the infections in that uh, age group, you know, like the the toddlers and the preschool groups, you know. The next thing is, what are the symptoms of uh, shaggy losses, you know? You know, the frequent uh, bouts of uh, watery diarrhea uh, is the main uh, type of the symptom of this condition, you know. And uh, uh, abdominal cramping, uh, nausea, vomiting, it may also occur, you know. And the many people who have the shaggy losses have either blood or the mucus in the stool. And uh, uh, they may uh, like uh, uh, have the fever, you know. And the symptoms uh, usually begin within three days of uh, 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 when you come in contact with the bacteria, you know. And in some cases, the symptoms uh, of the infection may appear in uh, uh, as much as a week after the contact, you know. And the diarrhea and the other symptoms uh, usually last between two to seven days. And the mild infections lasting a couple of days, they mostly they don't require any treatment, you know. Uh, but it's critical to stay hydrated in between those bouts of diarrhea. And call your doctor if uh, uh, diarrhea lasts for more than three days, you know. And this is very important because especially if you cannot keep your uh, food and uh, uh, like you cannot take uh, uh, to my I mean enough food and. Uh, enough water you know keep you well hydrated you know and the dehydration is a real danger which is associated with this condition you know uh, well the next thing what are the treatment options once diagnosed you know or once uh, you uh, have this condition you know you know combating the dehydration is the main goal of the treatment uh, and it's important to drink plenty of fluids and especially uh, uh, electrolyte solutions, you know, and the many of which are available over the counter at the pharmacy stores, you know, and it's usually not advisable to take any type of medications to relieve your diarrhea, you know, so as this will keep the bacteria in your system longer than uh, it should, you know, so the infection will get worse. So taking any medication to stop the diarrhea is not a good decision, you know, so, um, but the, the main goal of treatment is just to uh, keep your body well hydrated so drink plenty of uh, electrolyte solutions which you can get from the pharmacies you know and uh, the moderate and uh, are the severe infections may require medical treatment and the treatment will usually include in antibiotics to eliminate the bacteria from the digestive tract and your doctor may test uh, your stool to confirm that uh, uh, you uh, this uh, bacterial infection is a source of infection. This, this bacteria is a source of infection, you know. And the confirmation helps your doctor to choose the right medication uh, 
uh, for this uh, bacteria you know and uh, which may include like uh, erythromycin or maybe ciprofloxacin you know uh, and the hospitalization uh, re uh, requirement is very rare you know when there is too much severe uh, dehydration or if there is too much vomiting you know so in that case uh, dehydration uh, to uh, i mean to treat the dehydration hospitalization may be required but it's very rare you know and the complications uh, 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 are very rare you know so mostly uh, you don't need i mean uh, you will be fine within a week time you know so uh, there's no complication uh, associated with this condition you know Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more information. Thank you and goodbye.